Hello, my name is Sonko Halorlos and welcome to Cook Cinema Reviews. We'll be doing something new here. We're gonna be discussing the Oscars and the categories and today we're gonna do the best animator feature film. So how this is gonna work is I'm gonna go from number five to one. Five being the less likely to win the Oscar and number one being the one I think is gonna win. Now of course we all have different um, opinions about it but this is what from some research I've done and uh, my opinion which one I think is gonna win. So let's start. The Red Turtle. It was directed by Michael Dudok. Now this film is number five for two reasons. Now Oscars always have these two films who are foreign, they're not known and I think it's a really nice thing they do because you know it's not just about mainstream movies they get the you know you see a new genre and style and it's recognized and I think that's really nice they did that and so this movie is about a man who wakes up in an island because of a shipwreck and he wants to run away from this island but every time he wants to run away he is faced with this red turtle which is this red turtle always kind of stops him from running away now the reason it's so at the bottom you know it has great reviews this movie but the thing is while i was watching it it just was too simple. There's no dialogue in it, which some people might interpret it as really poetic and nice, and I get it. But the thing is, the chances of winning are really low. Number four, My Life as a Zucchini. Now, this is a Swiss French film directed by Claude Barres, and it's the story of this orphan kid who is sent to an orphanage, and it's pretty much his life with these kids. You know, they all have a really dark past and they're just, it's just his life. Now an important thing about this film and why it's number four it's because it's a stop motion film. The thing about stop motion film it's an underrated type of animation it's amazing it takes so much work but the thing is it has it has won once and it was back in 2005 with Wallace and Gromit. That was a long time ago and there with the evolution of CGI now they're getting less and less popular even though they have it takes a lot of time and it's it's something great they're just not that popular with people and something about Oscars is that unfortunately it's not all about content it's also about you know popularity so there's that's one of the reasons why I think is number four number three I think with number three and two I could literally put them in the same spot but number three is Kubo and the Two Strings, which was directed by Travis Knight. This is also a stop motion film, and it's about this kid named Kubo, and his village goes through this horrible uh, attack, and he has to go through a journey with a monkey and a beetle. Now the reason is here is also because it's a stop motion film, like um, the Zucchini movie. Is Laika, the studio who made this movie, is really big, you know, they did Coraline and Frank and Winnie and other movies that are really famous. But the thing is, like I said, it's just not um, a style that is popular nowadays. Number two, Moana. This was a film directed by Ron Clement. It is from Disney Studios, really big uh, studios, you know. And this movie is about this Polynesian girl and the water, pretty much, the ocean, chooses her to go through this journey to find this demigod named Maui and save her village. Now, many are surprised that this is in my number two and not number one. It has great music, great score by Lynn manuel Miranda who won two Tonys, you know, uh, for best place with Hamilton and in the Heights and he's just so famous at the moment. Even though it has such um, great, um, you know, anima the animation is simply beautiful in the water. You feel like, you know, in, you're in Polynesia and it's wonderful. But the thing about why it's number two, num not number one, is that Disney has done, a t has won a movie in 2000, wait, in 2000, blah, blah. <laughs> in 2013 and 14, Disney has won Best Animated Film with Frozen and Big Hero 6. Now the thing is, 
Frozen and Moana, as much people can discuss, they're quite similar in quite in style, they're about girl power, and it's something that we have already seen. But with the next movie, number one, it's quite different. And number one is Zootopia. This is a story about a bunny who is a police officer and has to work with this fox who is a con artist um, and pretty much have to work together to solve this mystery that's going on in Zootopia that is that many people are being um, kidnapped or they're just simply disappeared. The reason why it's number one, it's the message, what they talk about. I've never seen a movie, a kid's film, talk about such a serious topic and making it so obvious. It's like right there in your face. You can see it. Sometimes Disney has done, you know, some things, but we're not that direct. But this talks about racism and discrimination in such a powerful way. There's scenes that there's no dialogue, but you see it and you can feel it feel it and it's just I think it's such an important thing especially nowadays with the nation that is kind of divided just to know you know the message of the movie to say that we should just respect each other not only respect each other but care for each other and that is something wonderful I think to show to kids and it's a film both parents and kids can enjoy from all ages and it really makes you think and I think that's one of the reasons why it's gonna win because it's something so new in such a mainstream studio. You know, studios usually have done the Disney kind of stuff, but never such a um, such a big uh, message. And I think it was wonderful. It was really bold of them, and it was a really surprise for everyone in a good way. Now, the second thing is the world they created in this film. It's absolutely amazing. It's an anthro homorphic world which means that animals act like humans and the world it makes sense you know you have your tundra area you have the rainforest desert and then you have also Zootopia and you see it and you can imagine how can you know a hamster and a giraffe live there since you have the tiny door for a hamster then you have cars for a giraffe it just everything was built in such um, great detail that I really appreciated that I was looking at it and when I arrived into this world it was just I couldn't stop looking at everything it had to offer and I think that's uh, fantastic the uh, amount of detail in the fur uh, each animal you know you could see the bunny and just like you know you want to like touch it was so cute um, so I think that level of detail makes this movie also stand out from the competition because Moana had great animation but so Topia made something new and original and made you believe in this world. Also an interesting note is that Pixar was not in the category at all, which is really strange because Pixar has won eight times. There's no other studio has won even close to that. Disney has won twice, DreamWorks twice, Leica once, but Pixar has won eight times and not to be nominated is quite, well, sad. <laughs> So this was my review and this is my prediction of the Oscars. I think it's gonna be Zootopia, but I can be totally wrong. We asked the people here at Cook, uh, we asked the people here in Cook TV what they thought, who they thought that it was gonna win, and the majority thought like me, and they said Zootopia. But please comment down below if you have, you know, a different opinion, and we can discuss why maybe. Moana can win or maybe the Red Turtle can win and stay tuned for the other categories we're doing best actress, best score, etc. Thank you for watching. My name is El Carlos and this was Cook Cinema Reviews.